I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be exploring the principle of design balance and symmetry and we're going to get a little bit of a spring vibe going and we're going to be creating this beautiful butterfly today that uses both wax crayon and either watercolor paints or temper paint cakes and it's going to help us create some beautiful wax resist painting skills. So we're gonna explore wax resist painting, but also we're going to explore creating a very symmetrical artwork full of the principle of design balance. So grab those lovely art making mediums and let's make some art. <laughs> So in this artwork, we're going to be exploring symmetry and symmetry is when an artwork has is balanced on both sides. So there's going to be a, a line down the middle and if you think about it, it's going to be a reflection or mirrored image on either side of the line. So we're going to be creating that line. We're going to grab something to draw with and I'm going to grab a nice permanent black marker, but you could use a black pencil crayon or a black wax crayon to draw with. And we're also going to be exploring some resist painting and we're going to be using our wax crayons to color with. And then we're also going to be using our paint, either watercolor paint or temper paint cakes. And that is going to allow us to create a lovely resist style painting that explores symmetry but it also is ideal for spring because of course we're going to be doing a butterfly as they are very symmetrical okay we're going to start off with the butterfly's body and we're going to simply draw one line down just like that and that's going to be the line where we're going to mirror the wings or the image on either side okay so we're going to draw the head so we're going to draw a nice circle on one side we're going to draw the body, so the thorax and abdomen. We're going to zigzag it. And then we're going to go from there, a nice curving line down to the bottom. So that's half of our butterfly's body. Now we're going to add an eye, just like that. We're going to color it in, leaving just a little bit of white. Lovely. So now we're going to mirror the body on the other side. So first I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to use my eyes to follow the other line. And I want to try my best to make it symmetrical. It's about there, so I'm going to bring it down and connect the best we can. We have an eye to add. And I'm going to color in, leaving just a little bit of white for the highlights in the eye. And don't worry about this line going down the body. You can turn it either into something or just leave it there to show the process of the art making that you did. I'd love to show the process of my art. All right, I'm gonna add an antenna on one side and it's curving line up to a dot. And I'm gonna match it now on this side up, around, I'm gonna try and make it the same, but opposites, a mirrored version, right? Mirrored version. Beautiful, we're gonna draw nice lovely wings. So from this point in the neck where the head meets the body, we're gonna go up to a diagonal, up on a diagonal. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around in a curve and connect just underneath where that meets there. Okay, same on this side, around, and I'm gonna try and connect it at the exact same spot to try to do my best to make it the same on each side. Finally, I'm gonna draw a lower wing. I'm just gonna curve one, two, three times, and then we're gonna bring it up, connect. I'm gonna start on this side again. One, two, three times, bring it up, and connect. Now we have a beautiful, symmetrical, where's my, let's get a piece of paper. A symmetrical butterfly. Let's try this. Oh yeah. Okay. Getting distracted. Here we go, Artastic Nation. We're gonna add some butterfly designs. So we're gonna add a heart on each of the top wings for butterfly pattern. Now whatever you do on one side, you have to do the other. So if I add a circle on this side at the top, I'm gonna have to add a circle on this side at the top. 
If I'm gonna add a circle, a small circle at the bottom, I'm gonna have to add a small circle on the bottom on the opposite side. So you can now go ahead and add different butterfly designs in your wings, but remember, whatever you do on one side, you have to do the opposite and same on the other side. So you can go ahead and decorate your lovely butterfly, remembering that you must do it mirrored to keep it symmetrical, as this artwork is full of spring happiness and the principle of design, symmetry. Symmetry, I love symmetry. Okay, I got that. My butterfly's all designed. Whoosh. Flip this guy over. Beautiful. All right, and now we're grabbing two. Ready to grab our wax crayons. And you can grab whatever colors you want. We're only going to color in some of the details and paint the rest. So you're gonna get to grab your choice of colors and you can go ahead and color in all those different details with those colors, but whatever you do to one side, we have to keep it symmetrical and we must do the same on the opposite side. So if I color this big circle blue, I must color this circle blue as well because we want it to be a mirrored image on either side of that central line that we drew at the very, very beginning. Okay, and I can go ahead and color them whatever colors you want keeping it symmetrical as this artwork explores spring and the principle of design, balance and symmetry, balance and symmetry, working together to make a beautiful composition. Now another cool thing you can do is you can add some other different textures on the body with your color. So maybe I'm gonna draw some blue stripes that are curving down the body. And that way when I paint over top of it, they'll still be there. And that's the kind of cool things you can do with where's this painting. Maybe I wanna add some little hair texture on the head. And I can just take a little brown and add some teeny tiny dark brown lines like that. And that will add, make it a little fuzzy texture. So you can do whatever you want. It's a fun thing about art. Just try, try something and see what happens. That's all you gotta do. Try, try it, see what happens. If it doesn't work out, that's okay. You learn from that too. We know what works and doesn't work. If we just try and see what happens. It's my philosophy. Sometimes you learn that something works really well. Sometimes you learn that it doesn't work. But either way, you've learned from the process of making art. Just try it, see what happens. Add your own artist flavor anytime you want. That's the cool thing too. Gotta add your own artist flavor to your butterfly. Add things that you think are cool. But whatever you do on one side, you must do to the other. That's the, that's the fun thing about making art. So we just get to create our own lovely little worlds. Even if it doesn't make sense if it was real, that's okay, it's just a Beautiful thing from our imagination. All right, I am ready to paint. So I have some details colored in, but now I need to fill in the rest. But this time we're gonna use some paint. So I'm gonna grab my lovely friend paintbrush. And I'm gonna dip my brush in some water. I'm gonna use either my temper paint cakes or watercolor paints, whatever you have, that's perfectly fine. And you get to pick choice colors to paint in your butterfly. But remember, whatever you paint on one side, you must paint the same on the other. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with blue, so I'm gonna swirl, swirl, swirl three times in my blue paint. I'm gonna paint this top wing blue. But if I paint my top wing blue, I must paint this top wing blue. Whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. And you can paint right over top of the wax crayon, just like that, as it will resist the paint. You'll still see it through. Okay, just like that. Swirl, swirl, swirl three times and just paint right over your wax crown, watch it resist. Isn't that cool to get a lovely texture like that? 
lovely, lovely texture. Okay. Now I'm gonna do my lower wing. I think I'm gonna do it green, which means if I do this one green, I must do this side green as well. Or if you want your both your wings to be the same color, you can do that too. You can do whatever you want. It's your artwork and you must add your own artist flavor to your own masterpiece. And watching as that wax crayon resists the paint and pushes it away, it's just so beautiful. Now here's a magical little thing happening too. My blue paint is rushing down into my green, doing its own thing. And we're just gonna let that happen because that's just one of the things that happens with watercolor paints or tempered paint cakes. Sometimes art mediums wanna do their own thing. And when that happens, we just let it go. We just let it go. It was meant to be. Okay, I think I'm gonna paint the rest of my, look how cool that is. You see that? When I pull my paint across, it just pushes away and I keep those beautiful lines. It's a beautiful thing about resist painting. Oh, I got some beautiful spillage happening as well. Gotta let it happen. Looks gorgeous. Cool. Now, if you want to be really creative, you can even add some dots with paint. So if I can, I can go take my red paint and add a dot there. If I put a dot there, I have to do it on the opposite side. See, we can add other things on top and make it very dynamic. But again, whatever you do on one side, you must do to the other. So I'm gonna add a yellow dot there. So I'll add a yellow dot here. Maybe I'll add a blue dot there and I'll add a blue dot here. We'll just let these things happen. How beautiful is that? All right, and to finish our artwork, we're gonna pick a beautiful sky color. Whatever sky color you wanna use, you go ahead and use it. And we're just gonna add some beautiful swirls in and around our background. This doesn't have to be symmetrical. We're just gonna go for it. Because we wanna make our artwork a little bit more interesting to look at. So you're gonna go ahead and add some sky movement, sky lines, whatever you want in your background. Just add a little bit of color. It could be swirls. If you have a different idea, of some sky lines or sky texture. You can add your own version of sky texture. Whatever makes you happy. Add your own artist flavor anytime you want. And just like that, your lovely artwork that explores balance and symmetry is done. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what kind of teacher you are, for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently. But it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use. And you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons all the holidays, and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design, and art history, and so much more, my friends. It's a fabulous resource, so check it out. If you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom, you can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com. In that search bar, just click it, and you can type in Ms. Artastic, same as this YouTube channel. There I am, you can click that, and that's gonna bring you to this page. And you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down, scroll, and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new. Or if you go down to the side here, you're gonna find the categories of different things. You can click Artivity Books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out, Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers, and thank you so much for watching.